here we are. We're all gathered at the 33rd Drawing with Andy session. And uh, as you can see, Andy is already off to the races with his drawing. Drawing very lightly uh, with what appears to be a red coal erase pencil. Uh, coal erase makes pencils that are famous for being colored pencils, but also being erasable. And uh, I'm just getting word that it's a carmine red coal erase pencil. And as you can see, he's, he's working quite fast. Um, but because he's, he's barely whispering the pencil across the page, uh, it's barely making any lines. So the crowd is just kind of milling about right now and uh, just kind of waiting for things to kind of come into focus uh, because right now the marks are just too light to make out for uh, the common viewer. Uh, he, but he, he, let me assure the viewer, he is making marks all over that piece of paper and he's been jumping around a lot. Um, looks like he's filling in that upper left hand quadrant right now. Uh, and who knows what this drawing will be. Let's see if it starts to come into focus now. Oh, we've got a few darker marks being made. Um, those are, appear to be legs and some arms. Uh, so it seems there's at least one character in this drawing. Um, oh wait, now he's drawing some sort of boxy. Uh -huh. I think it's some sort of robot. Well, I see the crowd starting to get into things now that you can actually make out some of the things he's drawing. And he's uh, cleaning the robot arm, and you see he's not uh, immune to making mistakes as he's using the coal erases famous eraser every now and then. Here is a. Uh, some face peering up over the robot who is uh, wearing a cowboy hat, it seems. And, um, so this it looks like it, it is a grouping of characters. Uh, this That appears to be some sort of lizard or alligator of some sort. Uh, and now he's moving faster on, uh, appears to be a bird. No wait, it's a, it's a robot bird, I think and some fellow with a round head. Uh, he's jumping around a lot. And it seems to be a, some sort of rabbit. Uh, another cowboy hat and another robot. Um, that's some sort of plant, I think. I'm not totally sure. Oh, and uh, as we can see, the music has started. That means that Andy has moved into phase two where he starts inking the project. And uh, as you can hear from the band, uh, the excitement is high because this is when the image really starts to come into focus. You can see that cowboy robot face and arms really solidifying before our eyes. And uh, the band couldn't be happy or more patriotic. And here's the second character, this uh, very muscle-bound but graceful figure. Uh, seems to be some sort of sci-fi humanoid creature. Uh, I'm not quite sure what planet he's from, though. Back into the robot's face. And peering up over the robot face. As he quickly makes quick work of that quickly. Uh, drawing in some arms and uh, hair. And um, oh, now he's drawing some sort of claw arm. And filling in some final pieces on the robot. It looks like he just took a break for a second there, but. Uh, this drawing is not done, folks, so he has plenty more to go. Uh, note how he adds little splashes of shadow up, like underneath places 
um, just to create a little more depth. Um, so now he's drawing some sort of li giant lizard with its tongue sticking out. And uh, he's going into more texture all over everything. Um, as we can see, he, when he uses the pen, he doesn't it's not all straight lines or even finished lines. It's kind of this kind of mix between stippling, uh, some sort of stippling effect, and uh, some sort of shaky line, as though his hands are slightly shaky. Um, and it helps create uh, texture and uh, depth. And uh, as you can see, with the use of the unfinished lines. creates suggestions of uh, space and form. Oh wait, oh, now he's changed things up. He's using some sort of brush and ink. And uh, I've been told the ink he's using is a Winsor & Newton uh, Indian ink of some sort. Um, wow, he's really going for it now. He's drawing, oh, it turns out this some sort of baseball headed folk and he switched back to the pen which uh, I've been told is a uh, micron pigma fet pen uh, point, point oh 0.05 or just an 05 pen and uh, he's moving on making quick work of the robot bird and uh, the band is trying to rally the crowd That's weird. it looks like we're about halfway there to finishing this drawing second kind of cowboy. This seems like a more traditional cowboy. And he keeps to, uh, as the crowd said, it's, he keeps switching pen to pen. And a uh, secondary pen he uses to fill in blacks, small patches of blacks. Uh, it looks like it's a Pentel sign pen. And as we can see, this turns out this cowboy is riding uh, what appears to be a giant, I thought it was a bunny at first, but I think it's a giant cat of some sort with a, some sort of saddle on it. And uh, now he's going back in, adding more texture and blacks just to make some things pop out and some things recede into the distance. switched up the song there, playing uh, a Beatles tune, it looks like, uh, with a little help from my friends. A very appropriate song to play, since this drawing is possibly a grouping of friends. It seems like uh, the baseball man is some sort of, maybe he's a baseball uh, mascot, he's holding a giant bat. And uh, ah, what appeared to be a second robot is now being revealed to be some sort of uh, man in an astronaut suit. Some sort of astronaut, and he's got a laser gun, it looks like. Wow, this is really turning out to be some drawing. And there comes the uh, Pentel pen back in the mix. As he's now he's drawing uh, this giant flower for some sort. Oh, wait, not a flower. It's some sort of plant-based alien, it looks like. Uh, maybe some sort of carnivorous plant, or uh, maybe some alien that is uh, looks like the plants around it, so it can blend in as a, some sort of predator. Um, it looks like we're just about ready to wrap up this drawing. Uh, Ah, yes, as you can see, he's erasing all the, the pencil lines. Uh, one final touch, and there it is, folks. The final version of Drawing with Andy, number 33. Thank you for joining us. Have a great day. Bye.